Assalamu alaikum grade 7 Welcome again to biology class Today inshallah we're gonna talk about the deficiency of the nervous system This is lesson 2 in chapter 7 and this is chapter talking about the nervous system lesson number one we're talking about the nervous system and how the nervous system works and uh, before we getting in this lesson we can watching this is video that explain how the nervous system work and some reaction by human body and i want to enjoy it with this is video. Okay, that's very nice. So this is video talking about the some reactions that happen normally by human body. When the human body feeling some feeling like, like scared or something like that. So that's happen because the nervous system. So today we're gonna talking about the nervous system and the vision of the nervous system. What's the main part of the nervous system and main organs that's responsible for this is feeling. Okay, in the beginning, and this is lesson. Moving again, what's the meaning of that? Look at, uh, at this is picture. For this is woman that's feeling disability for moving or doing activity. You remember in lesson in uh, chapter number one, and this is what we talking about the two kinds of muscles, voluntary. An involuntary muscle that is or this is one that cannot doing any voluntary activity by voluntary muscles so when the central nervous system and we we know we're talking about the nervous system today and the central and the what's the main part of nervous system what uh, when the central nervous system is damaged some or all even all messages cannot get through and voluntary movements is lost this is can cause paralysis 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 it's the kind of uh, that disability of doing activity or voluntary activity specifically voluntary activity so that's called paralysis. Paralysis is the kind of diseases that uh, cause it the disability to movement or doing activity, voluntary activity in the nervous system. And this is doing anything in your behavior, moving, eating, sleeping, wake up, or doing anything. We cannot do anything with paralysis. Paralysis is this ability to moving or doing any voluntary movements so that is caused by what that's what we're talking about today so you can watching that video that title of video that but i said man moves hand controlled by his own brain for first time so you can watch this is video and this is title and we can continue.
Excellent. So, this is man have paralysis. Paralysis is that not or disability to make any voluntary movement. So that's man doing the first message for the voluntary movement for the brain to muscles in his arm to make it move. So that's talking about the how the nervous system work and give the signals from the brain to the muscles and how can we classify the main organs in the nervous system. Now we can continue in how we can classify the parts in nervous system. So the nervous system is the responsible of the control of the human body and human and organs and systems and that's consists of or made up of two parts of two main parts the central nervous system CNS that's the central of the body and that's responsible of all processes happen in nervous system and peripheral nervous system and that's responsible of transfer the signals from the central nervous system to all the body parts. The central nervous system made up of two parts and in the another hand in the peripheral nervous system again or that's made up for two parts. Central nervous system made up of two main parts in the nervous system. Brain that's the central or the center of the nervous system and a lot of processes happen in brain that's made all processes that's responsible for all activities and spinal cord in the other hand peripheral nervous system as we know that's responsible of traveling the signals from the central nervous system to the all the body and that made up of two parts Somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system and each one of them have a specific function. Somatic, uh, somatic nervous system that's responsible for all voluntary activities. So the paralysis that happen in some problems happen in somatic nervous system. That's disability to make any voluntary movement. Okay, so anomic nervous system that's responsible for any involuntary activities okay and that's made up of two parts or divided in two parts number one called sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic that's responsible for any suddenly activities or when your body under uh, some pressure or some stress and feeling scared and when you do doing uh, any activities the uh, degree of uh, raising of uh, heart pumps that's raising so we you know when we uh, watching the first video in uh, this is in the first uh, this is lesson that's talking about the sympathetic sympathetic uh, in nervous system that's responsible for reactions in your body and feel it scares something like that parasympathetic that's responsible of the all working the organs in your body the how the digestive system work uh, respiratory system work that's happening in the parasympathetic again nervous system the center of the system in your body that's control the activity in your body that's made up of two parts or we can divide it into central nervous system seen in us that's the center of the your body that's made up of brain central or main organ in the, uh, in the nervous system that's responsible of all processing what we do and spinal cord that make the traveling the nerve all over the body and breath 
nervous system that's made up of two parts sympathetic and anomatic nervous system that's somatic nervous system that's responsible of voluntary activities and in another hand anatomic nervous system that's responsible of uh, in uh, voluntary activities like sympathetic in feeling scared or uh, in your actions that your body does and parasympathetic that's responsible of working the system in your body and the main organs okay we can watching that video that's talking about the how do the sympath sympathetic doing in your body and how the bump of your heart raising when you doing a lot of exer uh, exercises or activities so you can watching the heart and the heart bumping that raising when you doing a lot of exercises or activities and this is happen due to what due to the sympathetic sympathetic in a, in a normal nervous system that's involuntary activities that happen in you that's reaction in your body when you feeling scared uh, doing activities or your body in uh, under the some stresses parasympathetic that's how can the heart working or uh, main organs like uh, or systems like the digestive system or respiratory system or something like that so now all of you now you should know the classification of nervous system and how we can divide it, the nervous system to parts or to main parts and each one of them have a specific function so we can Talking deeply in this is point the role of the central nervous system. You can watching this is a picture that's took about the uh, central nervous system brain brain that's main organ in the nervous system and the responsible of all processes in your what you do in each activity and by the part that's responsible for a uh, branching the uh, nerves in your body and traveling the nerves and peripheral nervous that's branching in teeny nervous tissues that make the nerves uh, traveling for your brain to the peripheral nervous that's what we like what we do uh, talking in that's branched in and uh, traveling the nerve from your brain to the muscles so the central nervous system including the brain and spinal cord that's what we're talking about and peripheral nervous is that uh, system including all the nerves outside the central nervous system so traveling to deeply to the muscle tissue to doing activity any activity you can do it excellent okay now we can talking about the main organs in the nervous system is the brain and how can divide the brain into parts the brain or the major regions in the brain are three parts three main parts number one is the brain stem number two is the cerebrum or cerebellum so cerebellum and cerebral so number one the brain stem that consists uh, the brain and spinal cord so that's responsible of for uh, traveling the nerves from the brain and the processes from the brain to the spinal cord so number one the brain stem number two the uh, cerebrum, cerebrum that coordinates muscles actions and helps you keep your balance so that's responsible of your balance and for uh, another activities so 
coordinates muscle actions that help you uh, keep your balance that's cerebral number three the cerebrum that is divided to left and right halves as we know different area control movement and sensation speech and and abstract throat the spinal cord is surrounded and and protected by the vertebra again so we know the brain the main organ in the, the nervous system that consists of the main parts number one brain stem that's responsible of uh, moving moving the signals from the brain to the spinal cord uh, cerebral, cerebellum that uh, coordinates muscles actions and helps you to give uh, the balancing in your, uh, in your uh, body and that's uh, helping for homeostasis uh, number three is the cerebrum that's divided into uh, left and right halves. Left and right halves that different in functions like movement and sensations and uh, speech and uh, abstract throat. Uh, and the spinal cord surrounding and protecting by what? Huh? The vertebrae that's protecting the spinal cord from cutting or doing something when the vertebrae that's having any problem in here in the vert vertebra that's uh, making the paralysis uh, process process that we're talking about in the first in this uh, and this is lesson any problem happening in vertebra that's making you uh, disability to movement uh, or doing any vol voluntary movement so after we talking about the uh, central nervous system, we can talking about what the rules of the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system, as we know, that's responsible for traveling the nerves or signals from the brain to the each muscles in your body. So we can watching here the this is spinal cord and that's surrounding for the vertebra that's to protect it for catching or, uh, or something so peripheral nervous system network of nerves uh, that connected uh, the central nervous system or that's the brain nervous system uh, that's the rest of the robot again neuro peripheral nervous system that's part number two in nervous system that's responsible for traveling the signals from your brain to the muscles and that's made up of network network of nervous system that's uh, connected to central nervous system or beginning in the brain traveling to all parts of your body and that's made up of what so spinal cord made or this is spinal cord made up of spinal nerves that's traveling the nerves or the signals from your uh, brain and that's surrounding with the connective tissue you can remember in chapter uh, number one the uh, function of nerve connective tissue connective tissue that's protecting any organs or entering uh, uh, organs in human body so that's protecting the spinal cord or uh, spinal nerve into the spinal cord and this uh, connective tissue that's surrounding with uh, the vertebra vertebra that's protecting again the all the spinal cord from the cutting or something and we have a specific organ here called spinal disc spinal disc have a specifically function of a very important function in the backbone or the spinal cord that's protecting the spinal cord and another function or uh, very important function that's to making the movement of your backbone like uh, changing or something like that that's helping the human body to move anywhere this is spinal disc so any problem happen here in this is spinal disc to make that's any movement of this is this can making the process or disability to movement or doing any uh, vertebrate uh, or uh, voluntary movement again so 
a peripheral nervous system that's responsible for traveling the, the signals networks of nervous ne uh, connected to the central nervous system or beginning the brain to traveling all your body parts that's made up of spinal cords spinal nerves like this and protecting and surrounding with the connective tissue and vertebra that's uh, protecting the spinal cord and between each vertebra uh, spinal disc that's making the movement of the backbone and any movements here this is disc from this is place that's making the process in some vein in your back and uh, making process and disability to movements and we can in this is spinal cord that means uh, making the voluntary and involuntary actions so all the involuntary and involuntary actions that's traveling here in the spinal cord and after that we can classify voluntary and involuntary activities so spinal cord is that made up of uh, four three bar pairs of nerves 12 bears spinal cord and 31 parts in pre and that's helping for clubbing uh, signals of nerves all over the body again peripheral nervous system in the spinal cord have a voluntary and involuntary nervous system so that's all of the peripheral nervous system we can go into next step okay the systemic lasmatic nervous system controls uh, voluntary actions that's what we're talking about in the classification of the nervous system and the uh, autonomic uh, nervous system that's control involuntary actions so the, the somatic uh, nervous system that controls the voluntary actions like movement uh, uh, woke up running doing any behavior activities that's in the somatic nervous system that consists of, of peripheral nervous system and the autonomic nervous system so we have different uh, function in with the somatic nervous system and analytic nervous system autonomic uh, versus uh, nervous system that's uh, responsible for involuntary act actions like what like uh, feeling scared or uh, some reaction that human body do it when your body in under uh, stress or something like that and we have that's phenomena that's a, a reflex that is repeat automatic response that occurs with conscious control so that's responsible for any activities or any action you do it in with, with your uh, or with uh, out your control we can watching this is video that's talking about the reflex or the automatic response your body when something happens suddenly and this is out control or without uh, conscious control so we can watching again the traveling of the north in your brain and having the process or the order to raise your hand for this is dangerous next so all of you now understand that how the nervous system work and divided into the main parts and each one of the parts in nervous system have a function voluntary and non involuntary brain that's uh, the center of processing in the nervous system and peripheral nervous system that's uh, responsible for traveling, traveling and the orders or the nerves or the signals from the brain to the muscles and the somatic anomatic nervous system voluntary and non involuntary that uh, reflects that automatically reads or the response to uh, making any uncontrollable uh, activities or reactions 
now we can going to the last point in this is session or in this is video that's talking about the two the two main nervous system injuries or like diseases injuries in the nervous system how the nervous system having or take up or any problem the main two injuries in the nervous system number one is the concussions and spinal cord injuries number one concussions when something happened suddenly in your brain or uh, block it your brain in something that's having concussions and this uh, responsible or due to the amount of uh, the block at your, your head that's make again concussions and spinal cord injuries number one concussions that's having in your brain just like, like this is picture and when your brain block it with uh, any strength outside your brain that's making the uh, some problems in your brain and the processes that make the nerves or the some uh, signals that's or orders to the muscles number two injuries that's happen in the nervous system in the spinal cord uh, injuries that's happen in the backbone or the spinal cord any like what we said any movement in the spinal uh, disc that's making the paralysis paralysis that cannot or disability to movement or doing any voluntary uh, movement so again two nervous system injuries that number one concussions and spinal cord injuries are two way in which the central nervous system can be damaged and all of this is injuries that's making in the end to the process is the disability to movement or making any voluntary activities so this is the end of this is lesson and we can make a speed revision today we're talking about the uh, deficiency in or uh, of the nervous system and the nervous system made up of two main parts central and peripheral nervous system central divided to the uh, brain and spinal cord and the peripheral that's made up of uh, somatic and anomatic nervous system that's responsible of uh, uh, voluntary and involuntary and sympathetic that's responsible of heart beating or uh, uh, reactions or uh, uncontrollable reactions like feeling the skirt or something but sympathetic that's responsible for doing the system like uh, digestive system or digestion process or respiration process in health or exhale something like that and all of this can be divided in the made up the peripheral nervous system and we're talking the my main parts in the brain cerebrum and cerebrum in the brain stem and each function of them i hope you understand what i said and goodbye to another session or biology session and i want of you to study well read the lesson again and answer the worksheets thank you goodbye